Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today I'm going to turn this Velociraptor Blue into the Chaos Effect Raptor. If you guys don't know what that looks like, here's a little picture of it. So, let's get started. So, the very first thing we're going to do is take them out of the box. I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but this box had a little gap right here. I don't know why it has that gap, but I'm going to see if any other thing. So let's get them out of here. I don't need the box anymore. Actually, I might need the box for... Uh, I'll put them back in there once I'm done repainting it. So uh, here he is. There's no articulation on the tail or anything like that. It's just on the feet. Uh, nothing, no swivel or anything there, and the hands are just, they're really gummy. <laughs> you guys could tell, look, really gummy hands. So yeah, this is the best candidate for the job. So I'm going to um, paint him real quick with some uh, primer, which is this guy. And put them all white, and then we're going to paint them all black, and then we're going to paint them the colors that he needs to be. Let's stick to him. Okay guys, so I changed my mind about putting the primer on it because I tried out the paint and the paint was sticking to it just perfectly fine. So I decided to just paint it all black and well, it, it worked out for me. So <laughs> that's what I ended up doing. Um, at, at the beginning, I kind of regret not putting the primer on it because there were some times where I touched it and it was still a little bit wet and it'll, the paint will rub off. Uh, it wouldn't happen if I put primer. And also the reason is because uh, when I put the blue paint on it uh, over the, the, the black paint, uh, it wouldn't work too well. It, it wouldn't, like you, you can't really tell that there was blue paint in there. I'll show you in a little, in a little while. Anyways, um, uh, first of all, I want to let you guys know that I am going to be doing a giveaway. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you guys subscribe for that giveaway. As soon as I get a thousand subscribers, and we're almost there, folks. We're almost there. Um, I will be doing a giveaway, so make sure you guys um, uh, subscribe and hit the like button so you guys can participate in that giveaway. Um, if you guys aren't subscribed, um, I will not pick you. <laughs> I will pick somebody else. If I call your name and say that you won and you're not subscribed, I will find out if you're a subscriber or not. So make sure you guys are subscribed if you guys want to be part of that. Um, if you guys are not subscribed, I will move on to the next person. So anyways, here is the blue that I was telling you guys. I tried to put blue on it, but as you guys could tell, the blue wasn't really... You guys couldn't really see the blue too much. So um, that's why I was like uh, regretting not putting primer on it. But um, I ended up going over it with the lighter blue. Um, on the parts that were supposed to be blue. And then go back with it with the darker blue. Uh, so in the end it all ended up working out pretty well, so uh, I'm not complaining. So this is the light blue I was telling you guys that I used at first, just to uh, uh, just to fill out the places that I needed, that I know that had to be blue or a lighter color, so I just filled it all out. And that's that's basically what I like to do. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm like really messy at first, and I love doing this for two reasons. One is because it's a lot faster to just be sloppy at first and uh, two is because at the end it gives you like these awesome little effects where uh, you take something that looks really, really uh, unfinished and then you start putting the details on there and it looks awesome at the end so that's why I love doing that and also actually there's three <laughs> there's three reasons to it um, the third reason is because um, I like to give that that uh, that wow. You know what I mean? It's like a it's like a template. You know what I mean? Like I'll I'll paint out uh, where I need the paint to be first. Like I'll I'll put all the blue first, and then I'll put all the yellow and the green and so on and so forth on the places that I know that there's gonna be paint that I need that paint in. And then later on, I'll go in and I'll put the lines and I'll straighten out the lines with the black and I'll cover all the stuff that I don't need. So it's like basically erasing it, you know what I mean? Like putting negative space. And I, lo I love this this method of painting. I've always liked this method of painting. 
Like it's basically just erasing your errors and making your errors look beautiful basically make them look you know nice and proper so that's why I go with this method and um, yeah so at first I thought the blue went all the way down his tail so you guys can see the tip of the tail it's still blue at the bottom at least and uh, I thought that's how it went but then I looked at the pictures underneath and no uh, it was just part of it, it was blue and then it turned all black as you could tell, I see how I just throw paint there because I know there's gonna be blue paint there, and that's the way I, I, I do things. Um, and then here's the yellow, yellow paint. Uh, the yellow paint I had to put like three or four layers of it because it wouldn't take all the paint because uh, the back bow that I was painting on was black, so it wouldn't take all the paint. So. Here's the stripe, the yellow stripes, the yellow and green stripes on his back. As you can tell, like I was just throwing stripes in there. They're not completely straight or anything like that. And um, and I'll fix that at the end. To make it look pretty nice, pretty neat. So yeah, if you guys have any like questions, please feel free to uh, ask. Uh, leave your comments down below. What do you guys think of the repaints? If you guys want to see other chaos effect uh, dinosaurs, let me know. Uh, I'll be more than happy to paint those. Uh, I enjoy painting these these chaos effect dinosaurs. There is one more dinosaur that I want to paint, a chaos effect. Um, you guys will see that um, not next week, but the week after. So um, stay tuned for that. Uh, I really don't want to give up too much away, but if you guys look to see um, at the old school chaos effect dinosaurs and you'll know exactly which one I'm gonna do next <laughs> so anyways um, but other than that I wanna do uh, realistic uh, looking dinosaurs because I know a lot of uh, these toys uh, come at, come nowhere near to what um, they look like in the movie or in the toys or the, I'm sorry in the cartoons the toys never really look the same or the colors are off or um, something's off so or they add to it or something and I, I love making it look um, screen, screen accurate you know or make them look like old school toys or like for this instance I like to make it look like an old school uh, chaos effect raptor so that's what I'm going for here but I, I, I really do want to do uh, realistic dinosaurs uh, so I have a, a T-Rex that I'm going to make uh, realistic and uh, a few other dinosaurs that I have bought um, that I'm going to paint to make them look as realistic as possible even though we never really seen a dinosaur before in real life <laughs> so we have no clue as to what they really look like for all we know a dinosaur actually looked like this raptor so we have no idea what the the colors on the dinosaurs were so so yeah but you get my point so here is me like adding in the black this is what I mean like at the end I start making the nice little cuts make it look nice and precise this little details to it, take off all of the, erase everything that I don't need on the dinosaur, make the lines straight where they need to be, make them curve where they need to be, and erase everything else. That's the reason why I do this method is because I find it, I find it more easier I guess, easier and uh, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I just like this method. Instead of painting each each little bar, you know what I mean. Then you paint the little bar, and then um, and then you take it away, or you keep adding little bars like those. Bat For example, if you were to paint uh, each color one by one, it's kind of hard to to know where everything's gonna sit at. So that's why I try to measure it by putting paints at where I think it's gonna go. And then once um, I know exactly where it's gonna go, I put the black and I erase everything I don't need. That's another reason why I do this method. 
erase, erase your mistakes. Uh, my son also likes to do, uh, he likes to paint, but he likes to, he's his own worst critic. So um, he, he doesn't really, he criticizes, he criticizes his work a lot. And, uh, and I tell him art is, there's no, there's no flaws to art. It's like, you do your best and that's it. That's all you could give and it's perfect the way you'd make it, you know? That's what the art is. It's, it's just painting what you can do, you know what I mean? And if you don't like it, well, keep going into it and keep doing it until you get what you want, until you get the results that you want, and that's it. But anyways, it's enough of my personal life. <laughs> Nice little detail. I like this part. It's the part where everything comes together, start moving, smoothing in the lines, making it look nice, like real nice, like. And then the bottom part. Um, it was hard to find for some reason the bottom part of it. Like a picture of the bottom. So at first I didn't realize that these stripes went all the way down like this. So I saw a picture on eBay. And by the way, that dinosaur was super expensive. It was like $80 for this raptor on eBay. <laughs> I don't know why, but uh, like I said, these chaos effect uh, uh, dinosaurs are very expensive. Like the old school classic ones, the ones that are uh, vintage. The vintage line but anyways yeah so the stripes go all the way down and around the tail so. that's what I did here adding a little bit more detail to it and then I painted nails from the nail salon <laughs> painting the dinosaurs nails how would you like your nails today sir Anyways, and then there's those stripes that go down his legs. There's there's his thighs. Um, the other side was a little bit more complicated because um, the other side, the the leg is bending a lot. So um, some of the stripes had to go uh, towards the back of his knee. So you can't really. This, I couldn't really do the stripes as well as this side, so which was a good thing because this is the side that the Jurassic Park logo is on, so uh, it, it it worked out. It worked out pretty well. So uh, this is a, I think this is the last few details. I'm almost done. Almost complete, guys. So uh, the eyeballs, I put the eyeballs in there. The last thing, the last touch is the Jurassic Park uh, logo on the side. So there you go, Jurassic Park. Oh, and the teeth, and then I had a color in the mouth, but um, I couldn't do that on camera. This is why. All right guys, so after dirty my hands a lot and dirty my whole workspace here, <laughs> I am finally done with this piece of art. Ta-da! There it is, guys. What do you guys think of it? I love it. It's freaking awesome. I know I didn't show you guys how to paint the inside of the mouth. That's because it's very, very tedious. And I had to go in there with a tiny little brush and paint everything. And I had to like get a real close-up of it. So it was kind of hard to put that in camera. So... Well, I didn't. <laughs> That's the reason why I didn't. But um, other than that, um, there it is. There is the Chaos Effect Raptor from Jurassic Park. Um, like I said uh, in my previous video when I did the um, uh, Chaos Effects T-Rex painting that I made. Uh, if you guys haven't watched it, there's a link down below. You could subscribe to my channel. You guys can look at um, my page and it'll pop out there. Uh, the Chaos Effect uh, Theory um, dinosaurs were some of my favorite and they're still some of the hardest ones to get. So that's the reason why I decided to start painting them like this. 
But um, there was a comment that suggested that I painted uh, the the raptor like this. I was still gonna do it, but uh, I thank him for leaving that comment. Thank you so much. I'm gonna leave your comment right here. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. I'm recording while I'm doing this whole thing and then I didn't have a chance to look up your name, but there it is. Um, so thank you so much for leaving the comment. Appreciate that. And so um, here it is. Here's the final look, guys. what do you guys think leave your comments down below uh please don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and hit the like button guys if you guys really like this and you guys want to see me do more repaints or of, of jurassic park uh, chaos effect or any other dinosaur if you guys want me to do dinosaurs and i will do repaints of other action figures especially the ones in the 80s so stay tuned for that um i will be doing a whole lot of those um, I hope you enjoy these things. If you did, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, guys, because it really does help me out, guys or girls, whichever one. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little repaint. Uh, if you guys do subscribe, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace. So, a little extra footage for you guys. I just wanted to show you guys. I put it back in the package. Uh, I think it looks really cool inside the package. I am a collector, so I do collect these things, and it looks pretty freaking awesome inside the package. Pretty cool. Anyways, thank you guys again. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification for the next time I drop a video, you guys will be notified. Hopefully, because YouTube's been screwing up a lot. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.